in my previous two videos, I proved these two results. Uh, if uh, if you got one plus two plus three plus four plus dot 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 up to n, you can find the sum from one to n. The first n natural numbers by using this formula of n times n plus one divided by two. And then also one of the videos immediately after that I proved one squared plus two squared plus three squared plus n squared gives you n times n plus one times two n plus one over six. Now in that video, in this video where I proved this result, I asked you to prove this result that one cube plus two cube plus three cube plus plus n cube uh, is n times n plus one over two the whole squ whole squared. Now this this and this are very similar. This is the sum from the first the sum of the first n natural numbers is n times n plus 1 over 2. And the sum of the first uh, n, uh, sum, sum of cubes of the first n natural numbers is n times n plus 1 over 2, the whole cube. Okay, hopefully you, I gave you also the hint in that video and hopefully you have done it. Uh, so let me go over for those who couldn't. So this is how you start. You can prove this is also by mathematical induction, but I'm proving in a traditional manner. So to prove this, uh, we will start with this formula of n, n raised to 4 minus n minus 1 raised to 4. Okay, now to prove this, uh, let us uh, simplify this or find the simplified form. So this is n to the power of 4 minus n minus 1 times n minus 1 the whole square times n minus 1 the whole square. So that's equal to n, square, n to the power of 4 minus, this would be n squared minus 2n plus 1 times n squared minus 2n plus 1. Okay, now if you expand this further, so this is n to the power of 4 minus, this will give you n to the power, and I'm expanding with n squared, n squared times n squared is n to the power of 4 minus 2n cubed. Hopefully I'll not do any mistake. You have to be very careful when you're expanding, plus n squared. Now I'm expanding with minus 2n, so you have minus 2n cubed. Uh, and then you have plus 4n squared minus 2n. And then expanding with 1, you have plus 1n one, one squared. So I'll write plus 1n squared or n squared. Uh, yes, uh, plus 1. Now I had to, I made a mistake here. I'm expanding with one, so one times one times n squared. Yeah, that's right. One one times n squared is n squared. Uh, one times minus two n is minus two n minus one. Okay, so this simplifies too. So let me rewrite this. So n to the power of four minus n minus one to the power of four is equal to n to the power of four minus. This is what simplifies to n to the power of 4. This is minus 4n cubed plus this is 6n squared minus 4n plus, sorry, minus 1. <clears throat> okay, now if you expand this further or when you open this bracket, we can write n to the power of 4 minus n minus 1 the to the power of 4 is when you expand this n squared and minus n squared will get cancelled. So the simplified form will be 4n cubed minus 6n squared plus 4n minus 1. Okay, now you could have also expanded this 
you could have caught this by using if you know the binomial expansion formula or using the Pascal triangle you could have expanded this but if you don't know this this is a traditional way of expanding this so we're going to use this formula to get our answer okay so now why is this formula useful so I'm going to develop a pattern now so if you go 1 to the power of 4 minus 0 raised to 4 now what does this mean this is n to the power of 4 minus n minus 1 so if n is 1 n minus 1 would be 0. So I'm taking n as 1. So it's 1 raised to 4 minus 0 raised to 4. So I have taken n as 1. So I can write 4 times 1 cube minus 6 times 2 squared. Sorry, 6 times 1 squared. 6 times 1 squared plus 4 times 1 minus 1. If n is 2, I can write 2 to the power of 4 minus 1 to the power of 4 because n minus 1 becomes 1 because n is 2. So this will become 4 times 2 cube minus 6 times 2 squared plus 4 times 2 minus 1. If n is 3, this will be 3 to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of 4 will give you 4 times 3 cube minus 6 times 3 squared plus 4 times 3 4 times 3 4 times 3 minus 1 now if you continue this pattern if you continue this pattern I can write n to the power of 4 minus n minus 1 to the power of 4 is equal to we know what is this formula so this will be so this is carry this continues to 4 times n to n cube minus this will continue to 6 times n squared this will continue to plus 4 times 4 times n minus 1 now I'm going to add to this whole thing. I'm going to add this whole thing. That means I'm going to add this plus this plus this dot 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 to this. So if we add this, what will happen? Uh, this plus 1 to the power of 4 minus n to the power of 4 will get cancelled. Plus 2 to the power of 4 minus this will cancel with n minus 1 to the power of 4 and everything will get cancelled. This will also get cancelled with this. So what remains is n to the power of 4 minus 0 cube or what is 0 to the power of 4 is equal to 4 times if, you exp if you're adding all this if you can factor out 4 so you have 1 cube plus 2 cube plus dot 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 plus n cube okay and this will be minus 6 times 1 squared plus 2 squared plus dot 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 plus n squared this will add to plus 4 times 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus n and you got these minus 1 plus minus 1 plus minus 1 that is plus n times minus 1 you got n lots of minus 1 so this simplifies so what can we write here so let me use a black so n to the power of 4 is equal to 4 uh, let us define this as s this is the sum that we need. So this is 4s. So let me go up and show. So let's define this as s. If that is s, the sum that we are looking for, in place of 1 cube plus 2, 2 cube plus n cube, you can write 4s. This is minus 6 times 1 squared plus 2 squared plus n squared 
we can replace that by the formula that we already proved, which is four, n six times n times n plus one times two n plus one over six. Okay, and this is the sum from one to n, so that can be replaced by four times n times n plus one over two, and this is minus n. Okay, we are. So what will get get cancelled here? You can cancel the six, and the six can get cancelled. This is two. Is two goes in four two times. Okay, so what will remain? You have n to the power of four is equal to four s minus n times n plus one to n plus one plus 2n times n plus 1 minus n. So let me add my plus, uh, let me add 1n to both sides. So this will become n to the power of 4 plus n is equal to 4s minus n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 plus 2 times n plus 1. So what can we factor out here? Let me change color here. So if you factor out n, you have n cubed plus 1 is equal to, I'm not writing this whole thing, so this is the same thing, do. Okay, so this simplifies to n times n cubed plus 1, you should know this formula, which is n, n plus 1 times n squared minus n plus 1 is equal to, so what I'm going to do in the next step is, I'm going to isolate this 4s to this side and bring this whole thing to the left hand side. Or I'm adding this to both sides and taking away this from both sides. So this will be 4s on the right hand side. I can write plus n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 minus 2 times 2n. Suppose I forgot n here. Yeah? I should have written 2n. So this would be minus 2n times n plus 1. Okay, so what can we factor out? You can factor out. You got n times n plus 1 here. Yeah? You got n times n plus 1 here. Yeah? You can factor n times n plus 1 out. So if you factor out n times n plus 1 out, you have n squared. You have got n squared minus n plus 1. So let me put this in the bracket. Plus 2n plus 1 minus, you have got uh, minus 2 here. Yeah is equal to 4s. Okay, we're almost there. So this is n times n plus 1. This expands to n squared minus n plus 1 plus 2n plus 1 minus 2 is equal to 4s. So what gets cancelled? Okay, you got minus n uh, you got minus n and plus 2n simplifies to plus n. You got plus 1 year, plus 1 year, and minus 2 year. So this 3 gets cancelled. So what is remaining? So this is n times n plus 1 times n squared plus n, uh, n squared plus n. That's all, n squared plus n is equal to 4s. Okay, so again, what can you factor out here? You can factor the n out. So this n and this n becomes n squared times n plus 1 times n plus 1 is equal to 4s. So this is n squared times n plus 1, the whole squared is equal to 4s. So now dividing both sides by 4, you can write n squared times n plus 1, the whole squared divided by 4 is equal to s. 
and this simplifies to s is equal to all of them are square so this can be written as 2 squared 4 is 2 squared so this simplifies to n times n plus 1 over 2 the whole squared